Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a wet wipes formula. Now in this formula too, I'm going to talk you through a few changes you can make so that you can really make it your own wet wipe formula, even though I'm starting with a very generic base type product. So let me show you what we're gonna make and let me show you how to put it together. So this is the product we're gonna be making here. Now, as you can see, it is a total liquid form. We have a solubilizer in here to solubilize the fragrance. Fragrance is very important with your wet wipes. And that also provides just enough of a gentle clean when people are wanting to wash their hands or use the wet wipe for other cleaning purposes. And of course, your wet wipes start as these dry tissues. So you'll have them in your packaging. Uh, I'm going to show you now we just wet out the wet wipes. which is exactly what happens when they're in their packaging. I wanted to show you when it's out of its packaging so that you can see how the filling is really easy inside the packaging. And there you have your wet wipe product. Now to make this product, it's super easy. We start off here with some water and some glycerin. I've already got the glycerin in there. Now you could alter that for a propane dial. You could put some concentrated aloe vera powder in here if you wanted to have aloe vera in your formula. To this, I'm just going to add a glycerin-based extract. Now, you could use any glycerin-based extract you want. This is really about marketing claims and helping make a point of difference with your product. So like I say, you could put some aloe powder in there, you could change the glycerin extract already to make it your own product story. Now here I have my solubilizer. In this case, I'm using polysorbate 20, but you could use a natural solubilizer if you want. And to this, I'm adding my antioxidant. Again, that's more about marketing claims than anything else, so that I can say the wet wipes contain vitamin E. I'm going to add the fragrance. Fragrance is really important. It shouldn't be overpowering. It should complement the product nicely, really suit your target market. And I'm putting the preservative in here as well. I'm just going to mix that together. And then I'm going to add that slowly while stirring to my water phase. Now don't worry when you first mix it if you've got a little bit of foaming there, that is just the solubilizer and we need that so that the product wets out really easily when it's poured into the packaging. And of course, once that foam has settled out, you're left with this beautifully clear product. And that's really all there is to it. Of course, there's so many changes you could make to this formula and you can make wet wipes to suit standard everyday use. You could make antibacterial wet wipes. You can make makeup removing wet wipes. You can make baby wet wipes. They all start from the same formulation principles. The solubilizing material, of course, is a non-ionic solubilizer. So even if you alter this for another non-ionic solubilizer, it means it gives a really mild clean to the product. And of course, such a low input combined with the high water input and the way the product is applied means there's absolutely no tack or stickiness on application. So there you go. That's how to make wet wipes. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.